You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button for channel memberships and check out the merch. And when you get your merch, make sure you use the discount code Gina Rots, all one word. And we're going to give you 15% off your purchase, folks. Let's get into this. Let's talk about the NFL, folks. The NFL and the black quarterback in, it, in the NFL. Folks, Clay Travis of Outkit the Coverage yesterday, he put out a stat that I didn't, even, I didn't even know. I really didn't, you know, because I really don't even focus on race. But however, when it comes to woke sports and the woke sports media, they have been obsessed with race in sports. And over the years, man, you have heard from the woke sports media how the black quarterback is mistreated. He's not treated the same as his white white counterparts. And folks, what we're about to talk about right now is so far from that. It just is. Folks, Clay Travis dropped the news here on his uh, on his uh, radio show. I listened to it and I didn't even know this. I didn't. OK, but check this out. He says the four highest paid quarterbacks in NFL history are now black. Mahomes, Dak, Deshaun and Wilson. Can Walt Sports Media officially retire? The NFL is racist against black quarterbacks narrative. It's not remotely true now. The NFL is a meritocracy. The best players get paid, period. And Clay Travis is 100 percent right on that. And these four quarterbacks, man, they got paid not because they're black. They got paid because they're really good. They are really, really good. Mahomes. Some people think he's the best QB in the league. Uh, Wilson, people think he's the top five quarterback. Uh, Deshaun, they think he's in the top 10. And Dak, he's probably in the top 10 as well. Okay? These guys are the highest paid QBs in NFL history. Not Tom Brady. Not uh, Peyton Manning. Not Joe Montana. Not Troy Aikman. None of those guys. These guys here, these young quarterbacks here, are the highest paid. OK, now let's go over here. Let's look at the, uh, the actual numbers here. Patrick Mahomes, he's averaging forty five million dollars per year. Dak Prescott, 40 million. And his guaranteed money is an NFL record. I believe it's something like one um, hundred and twenty four million, something like that. Deshaun Watson, thirty nine million. And he wants out of Houston and they paid him a lot of money, but he wants out of Houston. But I digress. Russell Wilson. 35 million. Folks, all these guys are black. And some of you guys may say, well, Mahomes and um, Russell Wilson, Dak, you know, they're like half black, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're still black. OK, now that's one more player that's actually going to um, get in, into this mix, too. I believe it's going to be the top five. And that's going to be um, Lamar Jackson when he actually gets uh, signed by the Ravens. And then from there, you got Jared Goff, who's white, Aaron Rodgers, white, Kirk Cousins, uh, white, uh, Carson Wentz, white, Matt Ryan, Ryan Tannehill. Jacoby Brissett is black and he's getting um, he's averaging uh, 20, almost 28 million. So he's in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. He's the 11th highest paid quarterback in the league. So the top five out of 11 quarterbacks. In the league are black. The highest paid ones. And the top four, the highest in NFL history, folks. Folks, I don't want to hear anything about racism. I don't want to hear anything about these players, these black players. You know, they're disrespected. These guys got paid. They got paid, man, because they perform. We'll see what happens with Dak. With Dak um, the only ones that won a, won a Super Bowl actually are Mahomes and Russell Wilson. And Mahomes was actually the MVP of his uh, Super Bowl that he won. Dak and Deshaun, they got some work to do. But these guys have cashed in. They cashed in. They put in the work. And these white owners paid them. So I don't want to hear anything about these NFL owners being racist towards the black players. 
It just does not add up. This is a myth of woke sports. That's all it is, folks. But I thought I thought I would make this uh, video here for you guys. Not a lot here on a sports front and also holding this microphone. This is actually pretty heavy holding it. You guys are probably thinking, why in the world are you actually uh, holding this? I'm actually doing some testing, so that's the reason why I did it. But I decided to make this video here. Take a break from doing that. And let me know what you guys actually think of this. Did you guys even know that the top four QBs, money-wise, in NFL history are all black? Did you know that? Well, if you didn't, now you know, folks. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.